What's going on, Nerd Army guys? Welcome to the newest episode of Nerds Marize. Today, guys, we're going to continue our journey into the world of Game of Thrones. Today, we're going to continue with season number seven, episode number four, titled The Spoils of War. All right, guys, let's jump right into this one. Here we go. So we start off with the Lannister army leaving Highgarden with carriages and carriages and carriages full of fucking gold that they just punked from Highgarden because we all know the Lannisters are broke. So they stole the money from Highgarden, killed Lady Olenna at the end of the last episode, and they're on their way to get the gold back to the king's landing. Jamie stops and opens up one of the carriages, grabs a giant bag of gold, and gives it to Braun. Here's your payment, bro. Peace up, A-Town down. We get to see Littlefinger at Winterfell go over to Bran as he's chilling and gift him a special gift. And it's the knife that was used to try to assassinate him. But Littlefinger doesn't get the whole Three-Eyed Raven thing. Bran fucking knows all about the knife, all about Littlefinger, everything he's done. One day, bro, you're fucked, buddy. But Bran reveals about his powers, that he can see everything, he's seen everything, and Littlefinger looks motherfucking nervous. And he should. Arya comes home and she goes to the gates at Winterfell, but these guards don't know her. It's been so long since she's been there and uh, she, they don't really know any of them. So they don't let her in. They give her a bunch of bullshit. Later on, we get to see she snuck in and she's down in the crypts. And that's where she runs into her sister, Sansa. And they get this big loving embrace between two sisters that, to be completely honest, weren't extremely close. Um, they spent more time together than the other siblings did with them, but not, not really super close. So then Bran and Arya finally get to reunite, and she's so excited. Her brother is alive. He's healthy. I mean, obviously in a chair still, but he's special now, Arya. He is the Three-Eyed Raven. He kind of gives her the rundown and then gifts her with a specifically special gift. And it's the knife Littlefinger tried to give him. It's a Valerian steel knife, and you're going to need it. So then John comes to Danny and has something to show her. He leads her down to the caves under Dragonstone, where he was mining for Dragonglass. And guess what he finds? He finds fucking old-school, like, caveman almost paintings, like ancient fucking hand carving and drawings in this cave and it shows the people and the dragons and everything and then it shows white walkers dude like that's full-on proof at dragonstone unless john got some chalk and drew some shit it's dragon time it's zombie time let's go kill some walkers girl Arya and Brienne have an awesome little sparring session practicing in the courtyards of winterfeld and Brienne just walks into it thinking like I'm gonna rock this little girl she's nothing and then Arya is a fucking gangster like she does so many little quick spins and flips so she could have killed Brienne like 12 times and then it all ends with like Arya having to like re-catch her fucking dagger and catching Brienne and it was just so fucking cool I was so pumped my girl power like a son of a bitch because they're two of my favorite characters and two of the most badass characters in the show but the whole time this is going on, you can see Podrick standing on the side. He's like, fuck yeah, someone's beating Brienne. Like, Brienne's getting murked, and he usually gets his ass kicked by her all the time. So we're back on Dragonstone, and the Greyjoy and their crew roll up, and they're obviously missing Yara, and so they roll up on this motherfucker, and they go in there. Basically, this is the point where Theon turns back into fucking Reek, and the guys are giving him so much bullshit and so much crap for what he did, and abandoning his sister, but he's such a bitch that he's like okay he just goes into reek mode it's ridiculous so then we get to see randall tarley report to jamie that all the gold has made it to king's landing it's safe then we see a giant fucking horde of dothraki marching down the motherfucking mountain and it is crazy these fools are nuts they're all horseback and just fucking standing on them and doing crazy jumps and shit and they come in and just start wrecking everyone and right behind them is a giant fucking dragon guys these guys that have never seen a dragon and only think that they're legend and that's not true that she really has dragons boom motherfucker you melted so we get to see some really cool fights, and the Dothraki are really wrecking these fools. Then we get to see Jamie standing there about to get attacked, and the good Tarly son, yes, Dick, Dick on Tarly, shows up, and obviously he's been recasted. He's a new guy. He's huge. And he shows up and starts fucking helping Jamie, and the two of them together finally kill one Dothraki. 
Only 100,000 more to go. <laughs> we get to see Braun make his way across the battlefield with crazy shit going on to one of the giant crossbows. And a Dothraki guy follows him in there. And what does he do? He turns the crossbow on this motherfucker and pins a full-grown big-ass man to a fucking wall. I'm, I'm scared for the dragons now. Braun is one hell of a shot because he takes aim and he blasts this dragon like right in the shoulder. One of the dragons fall and Danny is on it and you know what shit is going down. And Jamie sees Danny on the battlefield and starts to rush her with a fucking spear. And you just see her notice, then the dragon notice, turn his fucking head, get ready to start frying him some Lannister bitch ass with the gold hand. And out of nowhere, Braun tackles him off the fucking horse and into this water source that we think is pretty shallow and apparently it's deep as fuck because Jamie's heavy ass armor makes him start sinking to the fucking bottom. At least you're alive, dumbass. The whole time this is going on, everyone's being slaughtered and just murdered. You can see it in Tyrion's face that he does not approve. He thinks this is pretty fucking far, and but he won't say anything. I mean, he's, he's sworn an oath to help her and be her hand and guide her, but it, she's the boss. So this episode was fucking crazy. It was really, really awesome because we got to see some really cool Dothraki fights. We got to really see... The aftermath after the Tyrells were basically slaughtered for their money. And then we got to see where these characters are going in their progression. Danny obviously is going off the fucking deep end and getting nuts. She's she's losing her fucking marbles a little bit, guys. Let me know your thoughts on this in the comments down below. How what did you think about this episode? What was your favorite part? Let me know in the comments below. Make sure you guys check out all of our other playlists. We do have a lot of other shows that we do cover and other videos from the past that we do have here on the channel. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel so you can keep up with all the videos we put out every week. We are currently running a bunch of different series, um, pushing through the rest of Game of Thrones before the House of the Dragon starts. I want to make sure all of it's done. So we're only about like 10 episodes away from the end. Join in with us, guys. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that little bell and keep up with all the videos we put out every week. I will see you next time right here on Nerds Marais for more Game of Thrones. All right, guys. Peace out. Oh,